Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to Fit 2. <laughs> and today what we're doing is a 35 minute strong core and back. So we are going to work kind of the core of the back that really stabilizes that shoulder. And then of course the core with our abs and our glutes. It'll be a lot of fun. Now we do have some dumbbells. I'm going to be using some lighter and then a couple of medium dumbbells. And we're going to be on the mat for a lot of activity. So grab your mat, your sweat towel drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so let's get a chance to grab your mat, your sweat towel drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just a big circle right here. Down and around, and then the other direction. Nice big circle, getting those hips and those hands, those shoulders all the way around again. And then we're gonna finish it out with the other direction. Oh, that feels so good. We're gonna hinge back. We're gonna hinge down, feel those hamstrings, open up those hips, back and down, all the way back, all the way down. Let's do some big deep press and down, going low and then pressing those knees back. Oh, that feels so good. Two more. Last one, okay, and let's stay some low and let's open up those hips. Okay, and right here, we're gonna rotate up towards that shoulder and back, rotate up, boom. And around, last time, ooh. And then let's do a little bit of a cat and cow in here. In and out, in and out, two more. Last one, let's open up those hips a little bit more and drive that shoulder to the opposite knee and exhale through it. And then we're gonna come on up. We're gonna drive that hip and that knee to the opposite side. Boom, boom, boom. One more on each side. And then let's do a nice good kick and touch that toe. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna get that mat out. We're gonna do a few walkouts. Let's get some shoulder and weight bearing. Weight bearing into that shoulder, that's what I meant. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice good walk out and then walk that baby back. Okay, walk it out nice and controlled. Walk that baby back. Let's finish, coming all the way out again and drop into those hands and knees. We're gonna keep those elbows straight and sink those shoulder blades in and out, in and out. Last one. Okay, and we're gonna take that foot out there and we're gonna sit down and get that hip in there, down and up. Two more. Last one. This time we're gonna lift up, thread the needle, and sit down. Woo, getting that trunk and that hip. Last one. Okay, and then we're gonna take that hip and we're gonna go a nice big circle. Boom. 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 Let's do the other direction. Big circle. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. You're gonna stick that foot out again. We're gonna sit that down. Three. Two, last one, and we're gonna thread that needle and sit on down, getting that trunk, that hip, ooh, feels so good. Last one, and then we're gonna do a nice good circle with the hip, boom. And then we're gonna reverse it, big circle. Okay, and then we're gonna come all the way down. We're gonna do a nice good press up, come back into child's pose. Boom, and back, here we go. Press up, come back, child's pose. Last time, come up, come back, child's pose. Woo, and rest. Okay, we are gonna start laying on the ground. We're gonna do a dead bug, okay? And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my weights a little bit. I'm gonna grab pretty light weights, okay? So this is not gonna be a very heavy activity. We're gonna be on the back, we're gonna have our knees up and our arms up. And we're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg, and back. And we're gonna control that spine. As soon as you feel that arch, that means we're going too far, okay? This is okay to do this without weights. If you want more challenge, you're gonna do it with weights. We're gonna roll over, and we're gonna take, again, body weight or weights. You're gonna lift up and squeeze those shoulder blades and back, okay? So you're gonna lift up and squeeze. In fact, I'm gonna even go lighter on my weights. Okay, we're gonna rock this. Dead buck in three, two, one. 
Opposite arm, opposite leg. You can alternate sides. Or you can do, we're gonna do three rounds. So you can also do one side and then the other. That's okay. Again, I'm slow and controlled, really paying attention. What is my low back doing? How am I stabilizing that spine with those nice, good dynamic movements, okay? We miss it when we rush this. It's a great, powerful activity, but if we rush it, we really miss the power of it. Ooh. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Again, you can do this without weight. We're gonna do that Superman pull down. Are you ready? I'm gonna do one side right now. Here we go, three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze. Okay, lift up and squeeze. I'm gonna do second round, the other side, and the last one I'll do. Both, boom. Drive that elbow down, lift that chest up, and drive that elbow down and squeeze that shoulder blade. Come on, halfway there. Make it more challenging and get those legs off there. Woo! Come on, four. Three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, again, you can do just right side, one side, I mean, since you're doing opposite, or you can do alternating with me. In three, two, one. Find that nice neutral position, and you're gonna control that spine all the way down. I am going very slow and control. Don't rush it. Come on. Come on, 20 more seconds, you're over halfway. Going back to that Superman pull down in about 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest, oh baby. Okay, I'm gonna do my other side. Little line pull down. Here we go. In three, two, one, lift and squeeze. Remember, you're lifting up, pulling back, and back down, okay? So lift up, drive that elbow right down to the side and squeeze that shoulder blade. Like I said, you wanna make it harder? We'll lift those thighs up off the ground too in that full Superman. Woo! Come on. Okay, about 10 more seconds, and we'll do our last set. Ooh, come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, back to that dead bug. Last one of these, okay? Control it, here we go. Three, two, one, nice and control. You got it, come on. Down and up. Way there. Come on, 10 more seconds. Stay controlled. Then we'll finish out with our Superman pull down. Woo, maybe five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Okay, last one of the Superman pull downs. Woo, here we go. In three, two, one. Lift up. Drive it back. And down. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Lift and squeeze. Good, halfway there. 
15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so thinking about the dead bug, we're gonna go to what we call bird dog. We're gonna keep those hips nice and stable, and we're gonna lift out and in. Again, with or without a weight, but the idea is that those hips are staying stable, okay? Like you're gonna balance a stick on your back. Now, for um, the second activity, we're gonna do a hip extend. We're gonna point our toe, we're gonna lift up, we're gonna lift over, and we're gonna lift out, okay? Let's try the bird dogs. Here we go. In three, two, one. We're lifting out and in. You can do, I'm just gonna do one side. I'm gonna alternate at the third round. So I don't just say right side because we've got opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? And you may not be able to go out really far, okay? So that's distance depends on what you can do on that control. Like I said, pretend like you're balancing a stick on the back. I should even do that with my clients and my patients. Oh yeah, really giving them that feedback. Woo. In and out, come on. Control. Five. One and rest. Okay, we're gonna point that toe. We're gonna lift from the outside, from the in, and then the inside, okay? So pointing that toe, lifting that glute in three, two, one, lift. So keeping that hip nice and stable. And I'm lifting up just to squeeze that glute, keeping that toe pointed. And I'm going from an inside into that neutral, into the outside, really getting those lifts. Burn out that glute. Okay, we'll do the other side, the second set, and then we'll do half and half on the third. Don't worry, I'll keep you even. <laughs> 15 more seconds. We're gonna do bird dog. Next, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm doing bird dog on the other side now. Woo. Okay, or you can alternate. In three, two, one. Lift out and control. Okay, again, paying attention. Keeping that nice neutral spine and that hip is not as fast as control. Come on, you're doing awesome. Out and back. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going now to that other side for those hip extensions. Point that toe, keep that nice neutral spine. Here we go in three, two, one, lift and squeeze. It's not going way high, it's just lifting up high enough that you go, yep, nice, good squeeze into that glute, kind of that neutral position. Boom. I'm still keeping my core nice and engaged. Right when we say quote unquote core, there's a lot of muscles that fall into that category. It is not just our abs, for sure. Come on, halfway there. And then I'm gonna do bird dog on my alternate side. But you can also do half and half, it's up to you. I'm gonna obviously do half and half for these extensions on the third round. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's do bird dog. I'll Woo, nice and control. Here we go. In three, two, one, out, hand in. Control those hips. That's all from that nice, good core. Come on. Woo. Halfway there, come on, you got it. And then we're gonna finish out with those extensions. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's finish with those extensions. I'll give you a countdown to switch sides, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice, good lift, squeeze that glute, come on, boom. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. In three, two, one, come on, finish strong on this side, woo. Go. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a scat push up. That's where our elbows are straight, we sink those shoulder blades in, okay? So you can do it in a plank position, or if you need to, do it in a quadruped. Okay, we're gonna sink that in, and then we're gonna do a row, okay? Then the other activity we're gonna do is we're gonna be in a plank, we're gonna lift right on up, okay? Right there. You can do that with or without a dumbbell. Okay, but still keep them light or medium. Here we go, in three, two, one. Okay, in that plank, into that row. So you're gonna do a scat push up, and then you're gonna do a nice good row. I'm sticking with one side right now, but I'm gonna do the other side and then alternate on the third round. Nice, good row, push up. Okay, keeping those elbows straight when we do that nice, good sink in and out. Really stabilizing the back of that shoulder for a nice, strong back. Come on. Of course, working that core in that plank position, even if you're in quadruped. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna do plank lift. Now you can do this without weights, okay, or with. Here we go, in three, two, one, find that plank position, and lift. Again, I'm just sticking with the same side right now. Nice and controlled. Come on, you got this 15 more seconds. If you need to, you can go down into that low plank and lift, that's okay. Kind of doing like a reach instead. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. As I know, some of you get troubled with your wrists, and that's okay. Go down onto those forearms, that's totally fine. Okay, Scott, push up and row. I'm doing my other side in three, two, one, here we go. Scott, push up end of that row. I have a pretty light weight. Could I do more with my row? Yeah, but I'm really working on control, so it's just a, enough for my resistance, dynamic movement, okay? So I can really keep that nice, solid plank position. Stay controlled, come on, 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Again, if you're on your forearms, you can do a nice good reach. You do not have to do a lift, you do not have to use weight. Remember, do what you can do, control it in three, two, one, again, find that plank position, kind of lift, other arm, or maybe you're alternating, that's okay. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
one and rest. Okay, last one of these. Okay, scat push up to row. I'm gonna all alternate side this time. Here we go in three, two, one. Scat push up in a row. Or you can do half and half. Over halfway, about 15 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. I don't know about you, my, my hands get tired of holding the weights. Okay, we're gonna finish out with that plank arm lift. Are you ready? In three, two, one, find that plank and lift. Nice and controlled. Woo. Okay, we're gonna go on our back after this. We're gonna do some single leg bridging. Okay, and some boat work. Ooh, yeah. Come on, halfway there. got this. Come on. All the way to that buzzer. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. So we're going to do into some boat work and some bridge work. Whew. So we're going to go single leg bridge. Okay. So you can be in a staggered position with that. Okay. You can be in a staggered position of leg up, leg cross, staggered. Okay, and then we're gonna do boat to low boat to boat, cause that sounds like fun. Let's we'll start with some bridge work in three, two, one. You can do this without weight. I have just kind of a light weight just to really control that up and down. My hips are going straight up and controlling down. I do not let that core relax until I'm all the way down to the ground. Okay, so we're using our glutes and our hamstrings, but our core is working to keep that Nice, good, strong pelvis, stable, boom. You got it. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go into that boat, hello boat. Let's do this to the best of your ability. Here we go, three, two, one, down and up, okay? Now you can also have one leg down and just do one leg at a time, right? Okay, that just makes that body weight a little bit easier. In and out, nice and controlled. You got this, come on, halfway there. And we're gonna go to the other side for our bridge. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Whew. Back to the bridge work on the other side now. We gotta even our body out in three, two, one. Lift up and and control that down. Lift and squeeze. Squeeze at the top, control it down. Come on, about 15 more seconds. We're going back into that boat to low boat. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, back to that boat, low boat. 
Whew. to the best of your ability, right? That's all we're at. Three, two, one, down, and up. Controlling it down, bringing that up. Okay, may not go out as far, okay? You may be just be right here and back down, that's okay, right? As long as you're challenging you. Fifteen more seconds. Okay, and I'm gonna do half and half on my bridge work. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I'll give you a countdown. Okay, and we'll do half and half each side because that sounds like a lot of fun. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift up and squeeze. Control that down. All the way to the top, squeeze, and back down. Okay, switch sides in three, two, one. Let's go, switch sides. Squeeze at the top, control it down. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, baby. Okay, let's finish this out with boat to low boat. Here we go. Three, two, one, down, hand up. Guess what? This is our last mat activity. We're gonna stand for the last two activities. Woo. Well, the last super set, let's call it that. Okay? Boom, down and back, out and up. And I'm gonna go light on those dumbbells. Okay, so out and back in. Come on, we're halfway there. All the way to that buzzer, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, Oh, and add rest. Okay, we are done with the mat. We are going to do a standing back fly with a step back. So that makes it more challenging, okay? So we're gonna step back and fly, okay? Then we're gonna take those arms, we're gonna go up top, we're gonna be in a chair kind of position, and we're gonna paddle like we're on a waterboard, or on a, yeah, waterboarding, okay? We're gonna take it and we're gonna paddle to each side. That'll be a lot of fun, but let's do step back flies in three, Two, one, squeeze those shoulder blades, elbows slightly bent, okay? And then I'm stepping back, and that sounds silly, but that one-sided activity makes that fly a little bit harder, a little bit more to stabilize and balance. Working that, whoo, back and core a little bit more. You got this, come on. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so you're gonna pitch your feet together. Okay, arms overhead, sit down and squat, and then we're gonna paddle, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, down. Here on one of those paddle boards. Woo, working that core, that shoulder. You can go down to one dumbbell, you can do this, right? You can do all of these without a dumbbell. Maybe the back flies are hard to do with that one. Okay, you just go as long as you're challenging you, that's what I'm looking for. Come on, halfway there. Going back to those back fly steps. Come on, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Step back flies. Oh, oh, oh. Let's do this, baby. Here we go in three, two, 
One, stack. Squeeze those shoulder blades, elbows slightly bent. Just a nice good step back. Challenging the system just a little bit differently. Come on, stay focused. Boom, and back. Okay, we're gonna go to that chair position and do a paddle board. Woo. Here we go, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm really liking that word after that. Woo. Okay, feet together. Okay, nice good chair position. Here we go in three, two, oh, one. So kind of maintaining that little bit of that squat. And we're going to each side. Take that oar out of the water, dip it to the other side. You got it, come on. Just think of the beautiful water you could be on. Like, are you on the ocean? Are you on a beautiful, quiet lake? Come on, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, all we have is one more of each of these, okay? So we're back to those back fly step backs. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. Step and squeeze. Woo. Squeeze those shoulder blades, let's go. Keep going. Halfway there. Stay focused. Come on. Boom. And back. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Guess what? Yeah, baby, this is our fit. No, sure, okay? We got that paddle board. Come on, here we go in three, two, one. I'm picturing myself in some really beautiful places, paddling away. Just think, when you get on that paddle board, you're gonna be like, yes, I was prepared because I did a workout with Kimberly Joy. <laughs> Come on, boom, pull it out. Nice, good paddle. Pull it out of the water and lift it up another side. Come on. Halfway there. All the way to that buzzer. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Let's put those weights away. Okay. Whew. Let's take those arms, let's come all the way up, and let's just do a nice good tug that shoulder. Oh, that feels so good. Let's go the other side. Let's just tug that shoulder. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a hip flexor open. We're gonna pull that shoulder across, and exhale. We're gonna lift that arm, and we're gonna lift over, get those laterals. Exhale through it. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, other side, okay? Hip flexor, pulling that forward. Pull that shoulder across. Exhale and pull a little bit further. Okay, and then we're gonna reach over and we're gonna get those laterals, okay? Reach and extend. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna get that glute. We work that glute a little bit. We're gonna cross that over and sit down. Okay, you can do this in a chair too. You can work on balance with me. Exhale again. Okay, and then the other side. Cross that over, sit on down. Exhale through it. Okay, and then we're gonna take those low back and those shoulder blades, we're gonna push that out. Exhale through it. 
okay? And then we're gonna hinge down, and we're gonna let those hamstrings release. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, and then we're gonna slowly roll that up, all the way up, and extend all the way back. Open up that hip. And then we're gonna pull to the side a little bit. Oh yeah. Let's go to the other side and pull. Woo. And then let's pull that all the way back behind our head for three, two, one. High five for rocking that. Make sure you're grabbing some water, some high quality protein, and then have a great day. Hey guys, I hope you loved that video. Did you know this is part of an entire series? I had so much fun with Fit that I have now Fit 2 because we really want to improve that fitness level. So we're going to improve our heart. We're going to improve those muscles. We're going to improve our mobility and we're going to feel amazing about it. And I don't want you to miss out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss what's going on. Also, let's be friends on social media. I'm going to give you tips and information. I also send out what we're going to be doing for the week ahead. It's all going to be amazing, but sometimes you might even want to dial in more. Do you know that I have a coaching program through Her Solutions? Yes, that is really to help you dial in and go to the next level. So reach out if you want to move into the coaching program, but for sure, make sure you don't miss out on this series. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're hitting those notification bells and let's get fit together and have an amazing time. Have a great day.